200 years, the Church Mission Society, CMS, a UK-based missionary organization, sent out missionaries throughout the world. And they went planting churches across the African soil in many parts of the continent, such as in Freetown, Sierra Leone, Egypt, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Uganda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Sudan, and Kenya. CMS Africa is a, a new mission organization that has been part of CMS based in the UK. CMS stands for Church Mission Society. But about two years ago, CMS in the UK began to uh, decentralize and regionalize and develop um, two other organizations, CMS Africa and Asia CMS. CMS Africa is the first of the new uh, organizations to be put into place. Growing from the strong roots of the Church Mission Society, CMS Africa is now fully autonomous, working out of Nairobi in Kenya and Cape Coast, Ghana, and spreading across the continent, taking on the challenge of equipping and mobilizing the African Church for local and global missions. For effective evangelistic and transforming missions, CMS Africa heavily focuses on the youth and women who form the majority in the African Church. The Great Commission talks about making disciples of the nations. The models of transformation that CMS Africa holds forth are generally business-based or charity-based. Currently, there are various programs being run by CMS Africa with the aim of engaging society at every level. We recognize within the church we have a latent group of people called business people that we tend to only value for their tithes and offerings. We realize that in a place, parts of the world like Africa, where one of the biggest challenges is job creation, these people could become a key instrument in helping uh, um, the, create jobs uh, through the church, uh, but in the community. So business as mission is actually an, um, um, an effort to mobilize business people, envision them and equip them with a biblical mindset so they can begin using their entrepreneurial gifts to create more jobs. The Business as Mission program of CMS Africa teaches that business must have a return in these four areas spiritual, economic, relational and environmental. I'll say one of the projects that we have is a community transformation project in Machakos. We began off by training church leaders to begin seeing ministry as being holistic. This is about five years, five years or so ago. We commission this project by the name of aerobic bi uh, digester biogas in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One such project is in Eastern Province in Kenya, where CMS Africa with local church leadership there are successfully running anaerobic biodigesters, which have solved the twin problems facing local farmers, affordable fertilizer for their farms, and affordable fuel for their households. It's a technology whereby you, there's a construction of a, a, a kind of a doom, and then cow dung is fed into it, and after some 21 days, there's production of biogas, and uh, we get by, by product which is fertilizer, organic fertilizer. Any farmer who has two or three cows can actually turn his organic waste into, into uh, energy. The anaerobic biodigester provides not only fertilizer and cooking energy for the households, but also raises levels of dignity as well. The worker wakes up very early in the morning. He wastes a lot of time boiling water. So my milk sometimes used to arrive late. Nanini. These days, this guy wakes up and I wash a dukiberiti, there is warm water. There. People love living in the urban place. Now I make a kuja back into the, uh, uh, this place ambayo pia shida ingine imetajwa is that uh, majority have not come to accept farming as a vocation. Farming is the backbone of our continent. Despite this fact, farmers felt the futility of their efforts due to low yields and low erratic returns. This is coupled by the fact that most farmers are still employing outdated and poor farming practices. The society shunned the practice, making the younger generation desist from farming and instead look for employment. This is the problem we seek to address. So it's really the mindset change that took place more than the, than the actual project itself. 
And now with that mindset change, we find the farmers are beginning to become very creative in what they do with some of the byproducts like the manure, they're helping other farmers grow passion fruit. But they begin to realize that they're, they're, they're part of what it means to be a Christian is to love your neighbor. It's not about maximizing their own profits. But how can they use what they have to love their neighbor? That very project in Machakos has continued to inspire not just the locals, but also those from far off places. They realize that cooking gas is not that expensive as compared to the processed LNG and LPG, and it does not have to be a city or urban affair or luxury. I used to work with an oil company, and for many years I sold gas, and it is very expensive, LPG. Yes. Um, one of our ideas or strategies is to develop models of excellence. So when you go to a place like Machakos, we're trying to see how can we see clergy, business women, youth, and the business people engaged in a model of community transformation. These models of excellence serve as a place to inspire other people. Four bishops from the Episcopal Church of Sudan came to Kenya to understand better the concept of transformational ministry that CMS Africa has been championing. Three of them spent two weeks with the Bishop of Machakos and attended a week-long training workshop. They came and met with the Bishop there, Bishop Kanuku, listened to how he was envisioned himself and as a result of that what he did with his community. They then went and spent time in the community to observe how the Christians in the community are engaging in, in uh, 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 projects that are transforming the communities. Not just the bad, uh, the anaerobic bad, bad, just a project, but they're doing fish farming and involving cassava growing, involved all other kinds of projects in that community. The fourth bishop visited the projects in Machakos and is planning transformational discipleship back home. The three of us plus other one there, we are going to implement what has been discussed here. That is why I want to say thank you so much people for having hosted that big meeting and that is why we have peace in Sudan today. The visitors were inspired by the church's relationship with the community and the achievements realized. CMS Africa also runs mission support services offered to partners individuals or organizations who want to carry out missions in the continent and who may not want to spend money setting up a local infrastructure and each of them setting up offices and bureaucracy. We realize that one of the biggest things that mission uh, has, uh, need mission has, is just a logistical things of how to make mission happen. This is some of the background things that, that, that go on. So CMS Africa over the last, okay, say call it five, six years before we became CMS Africa, develop their competencies in terms of being able to manage resources. So when people want to send funds to some place in Africa, we have the competency and the capacity for that. We have logistical issues that need to take place in terms of just mobilizing, whether it is medicines or, or vehicles or getting people to settle down. Again, we're building that capacity as CMS Africa to support other mission agencies um, and also people in the field to provide administrative support for them. With years of experience and training across the continent, CMS Africa is committed to transform the continent for Christ and that's why it's seeking to partner with you. I think all of us as Christians are obliged to obey the Great Commission, but it's how we understand it. So the Great Commission says, therefore go and make disciples of all nations. The key is disciples, but the goal is the nations. It is true, the fields are ripe with harvest, but we must employ the right strategies as we are used of God to reach out to not only Africa, but the outermost parts of the world. Thank you.